Today we'll discuss how to apply intermarket analysis effectively. While there are numerous analysis methods available, I find comparing the index and influential stocks and a smaller yet actively traded stock to be effective in projecting what is coming ahead. Let's make some interesting observation in the tech market focusing on the Nasdaq index, the world largest market cap Microsoft, and as well as Supermicro Computer INC, one of the most actively traded stock recently. My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior of science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we discuss about this subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. We all know that stock market has been going up since 2023 all the way into 2024 and it seems like it's unstoppable. This is what I've drawn over since some months ago and this trend line is still there. We have drawn this uptrend line focusing on at least three significant bottom or trough that we could see here since 2016. And we have this and we have this and I project up. So back then, of course, the last few months, this high have not established and that was last week high. And I do a clone, I do a parallel channel and this was my projection. And as the close of last week, I saw that it reacted pretty nicely. So usually I will look at the main index to have a feel about how is the general market. And I felt that it was interesting and then I narrowed down to one of the largest market cap stock in the world. And then also narrowed down to one of the mid cap size stocks in US. And just want to do a comparison to see the market dynamic between this three party index, big cap stock, and the mid cap stock. And let's look at the Microsoft. We could see here that under the large cap, uh, Microsoft is today number one, the largest market cap in the world and followed by Apple with 3 trillion and followed by 2.8. So it's important to note that how's the behavior, what and how have they been doing over this period. As of last Friday close, I saw the weekly close. It closed with this behavior, what I call the bearish engulfing body. If we look through the weekly chart, we hardly see any bearish engulfing body over this time span, but as of last week closing, I saw this and this is what based on the textbook and they suggest that they are not likely to see that it's going to retest this high. So it means that there's a high percentage chance that the market may be heading down. And this is according to the theory. And of course, if you notice that the NASDAQ, I'm looking at the monthly chart, but for the Microsoft, I'm looking at the weekly chart. So you may ask that, should we be looking at a monthly or the weekly chart. And I would say that if you have time, explore into different time frame. It is because of the monthly chart in the NASDAQ. I take some time and pain, of course, to narrow down into monthly chart and weekly chart. And I saw an interesting formation here. And I also want to take a look at what happened to the actively traded stock. So it come by, not by chance, but last Friday, I met up with a young gentleman in my evening in Asia. And he told me that Konhao, I may have missed out a stock. Can you please take a look at SMCI? So when I took a take a look at took a look at this, uh, that was uh, about 11 p.m. Asia time, Singapore timing. It was trading about 890s about here. And I say that uh, let's wait for the day to close. Uh, I do not think that you're late to enter, but if it closed at 890, here it may form a bearish engulfing body on of course you we saw that at the end of friday it closed at 803 much lower than 890 so at the settle of the last saturday we saw a very classic bearish engulfing body so again the theory states that likely it's unlikely to retest the recent all-time high which was last friday high so this could be the formation and how important is this uh meat cap stock let me share with you how important the mid cap stock is. Under the most actively traded stocks, of course, we are not unfamiliar with Nvidia. It is the worth is about 1.7 trillion US dollars. And how big is Supermicro Computer? It is uh, really a fraction of it. 
is 44 billion US dollars. So it's a, I will consider it as a mid cap stocks. But look at the day volume itself. On last Friday, the day volume itself being transacted alone, one single day, it was at 27 billion compared to NVIDIA, where it's worth 1.7 trillion US dollars. It is almost as equal, slightly lesser. So it means that a lot of traders are sucked into this stock and perhaps, and I'm suspecting that most of them are stuck uh, on the day itself. In the euphoria stage, there'll be a mad rush into the market. And how are we going to counter this potential trend? Uh, this is a very classic parallel uh, channel that we're seeing here. So I'm expecting that uh, this is the NASDAQ. And again, we're looking into the micro picture. So earlier it was a monthly chart, weekly chart, and this is daily chart. You can see that looking into the different dynamics of different time frame. And now I'm going to project what's happening. And this uh, micro NASDAQ futures is live and is trading while waiting for the US stock market to open in about four hours time from now. Uh, now is Asia time, 6 p.m. Again, the same theory applies here is that we apply on the monthly chart, weekly chart. We can apply on the minutes or the day chart as well. I try to identify where it's a classic uptrend line and I could spot a few, at least three significant trough, one, two, three. So this uptrend line became significant. So my projection is this. If the next few days or tonight, if we convincingly break below this very nice uptrend line, I would say that immediate trend, we may have transit from an uptrend to a downtrend. And I would be pretty excited to do this. Um, I may want to cash out some of my physical stocks and look out for maybe some options to buy puts or even sell short into the uh, uh, micro e-mini Nasdaq. And that's my plan. And this is what I may be doing. Also keep a lookout for the other big cap stocks most of us are familiar with. They are also giving us some very interesting reading. We can discuss more in the comments. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. The market are always telling us on their next move. Feel free to leave any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.